Right now we're going to cover a new type of multiplication of polynomials. This particular one says that we want to take this first function, f of x, and multiply it by h of x. Okay, so essentially what we're going to do here is we're going to multiply our f of x, x plus 1, that's where I got that one, times our h of x, which is x minus 2. In the past you can use a FOIL method and that works when it's a binomial times a binomial. So if it's two parts times two parts, then that works just fine. But when we get into more complicated ones, there's a better method, and it's called the box method. I'd like to go through that one now. On this one with the box method, basically what we're going to do is draw a box. Now this one is a two by two box here. Two on up and down and two side to side because there are only two um, terms in this first one and two terms in this one. You'll notice as we go throughout some other ones, you may have a three by two box or whatever else, but it just depends on how many terms there are in each of these. Uh, but there's only two in each, so I just make a two by two. Okay, now on this one here, the first one, I'll go ahead and write x here. I got that x from right here, and it doesn't matter what order you put these in. I could write these up top, but I write my x here because it's a positive x. So that's why I got that one. And then right down here, I'm going to write whatever the second term is. In this case, it's positive 1. So I write that one. Now, up top here, the first one that I'm going to need to write is whatever this first term is here. In this case, it would be an x. And the second term would be a negative 2. So I'm going to write those now. There's my x and my negative 2. Now with this method, all we're basically going to do is kind of like a multiplication grid. We've got to determine what's x times x, and then we're going to fill that in right here. And that'll end up being x squared. Now then we go x times 1 would give me simply 1x. Now we don't write 1x, we just write it as x. I can continue to fill in, fill in my grid. Negative 2 times x would give me negative 2x. Then negative 2 times 1 should give me a negative 2. Okay, now I've got this all filled out. Now I just really have to combine like terms. I notice that this one is an x, and this one's an x. So I can combine those two. Uh, I typically signify that some little doodle or something that tells me I can combine those two. Now, I'm just going to rewrite it all, but combining those two, this is going to be an x squared. I know that. And let's say I've got a negative 2x plus x should give me a negative x, and then minus 2. So you get my answer on this one should be x squared minus x minus 2, uh, just by creating the box method. And again, it's it's uh, just basically writing out a binomial times a binomial, so it'll be a 2 times a 2 box, 2 by 2, and then fill in, the, in each one of these, then combining like terms.